there are probably over hundreds of things we need in Super Mario Maker 3. And because of that, today I'm going to continue real serious and we're going to take a look at another 7 elements I want to see in Mario Maker 3. Let's get started. But before I start this video, make sure to smash that like button, but not too hard. You don't want to break it. I might need it later. <laughs> or And subscribe and hit the notifications if you haven't already. Screen wrapping. Screen wrapping can be found in many different games like in Mario Bros. DS or Mario Bros. 3. That means when one person gets to a side of the screen, he automatically gets teleported to the other side. When making a level, there will be just an option to switch it on or off. This would be very useful if you're building a vertical level, but it also will be great for horizontal levels. It would be great to have for traditional levels, but it would be even better for puzzle levels. Let's get to our second thing we need. Now in Super Mario Maker 2, you can only you can only start from one side of the screen. Why can't you start in the middle and choose in which direction the signs to be facing? Or why can't you put the the goal to the start? This would be a very good option. Also, if you're building a level, you need to build another pipe to be able to get to the end. Because in the sub area you can't place the goal. It always has to be in the main area. Having a goal in the sub area has to be added as a feature in Super Mario Maker 3. NPCs are not playable characters, this is SpongeBob, but they can tell you messages when you build them in your level. It can also be a block which tells you something when you hit it, like in Super Mario World. In Super Mario Maker 2, if you want to tell something to a player, you have to use blocks. But of course that takes up a lot of space, in which you can build something else. And that would be good if it had NPC to tell you something, or such a block. Now, in Super Mario Maker 2, all of the characters behave the same. For example, they all have the same height. But why don't they have unique abilities like in most other Mario games? So that could be sort of an easy mode for the game. You can maybe jump twice. Blue Toad is pretty obvious. He would be able to run faster like in most other Mario games. Luigi can maybe jump higher than the other characters. Maybe about one to two blocks. But what about Mario? I actually have really no idea, but I've heard people in the comments from DupliCat's original video that he can use his cat B. But tell me in the comment section below what you think Mario's abil ability could be. Next. Now since we got the Super Mario Bros. 2 Mushroom, we should get some enemies too. We could put the Shy Guy or even a boss fight like Birdo. So that way, people would like the Super Mario Maker Bros. 2 level. Hold on, I just got to. Cannon pipes. There are pipes which shoots you up in the air. In Mario Maker 2, there could be an option to select if a cannon pipe would shoot you up into the sky or sideways like this <laughs> Next, lastly we have longer levels if people if people would add if there were more sub areas this would be easy but right now we only have the single ones so we hope that we'll get these in Super Mario Maker 3. And that's it for part 4 of things we need in Mario Maker 3. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments which item did you like when I announced today. I'll be busy making the posters for part 5. The Vegeta said it was something to do with moving terrains. You know, like, 
Uh, they mostly appear in the game Mario Bros. Wii. But I'll get to that on that video. So, with that out of the way, thanks for watching. I hope with you agree with me on these things we need. And if you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and smash that notification so that way you'll stay alerted when I post something new. Now, and as, as Mario would... I, I'm gonna go so as Mario would say thank you so much for playing my game